Indoor air quality is perhaps the single most important building performance feature that we want to design to. Our health uh, and productivity for ourselves and our family uh, trumps everything. So what do we mean? How do we create great indoor air quality? Well, it starts with a design. So we follow uh, the principles of the checklists of of LEED and Greenpoint rated and the, the so-called green building uh, approaches that uh, <clears throat> provide ways that we make sure that we achieve this quality. So we eliminate the formaldehyde from the adhesives in the cabinets. We use low VOC or zero VOC paints and uh, wood finishes. We want to eliminate, keep the contaminants out to begin with. Uh, that's number one. Number two, uh, then we want to continuously ventilate. We want to make sure that we have a good, constant supply of fresh air uh, constantly coming into the building and exhausting stale air. When we build high-performance buildings like Passive House, like the one we're in now, these buildings are virtually airtight. So it's important that we supply uh, continuous fresh air through a ventilation system. Here, I'm standing uh, here up at a wall in a bedroom in this home showing a supply register. If I put my hand up here, I can feel uh, air. I can feel some cool air uh, moving here. This is delivering about 10 cubic feet per minute of air. Like uh, this one, every bedroom in the home and in the great room, other key living areas, there's always a constant fresh air supply uh, that's being delivered into these rooms. I'm here in the bathroom. I want to show you the exhaust side of a balanced uh, ventilation system. So I showed you in a bedroom an example of a supply register as an example of air that's constantly being supplied from the outside to the inside. Here we are uh, on the other side of the equation where air is constantly being exhausted from the wet rooms, like the bathrooms, uh, and taken to the outside. So this is a balanced ventilation system, always supplying and exhausting. And in this case, we have a heat recovery function. So downstairs, we have a heat recovery ventilation unit that has a heat exchanger in it. So we don't lose any of the precious thermal energy that we have inside our home, but we're still delivering uh, balanced fresh air 24 7 365. In this project we have the uh, heat recovery ventilator mounted above the ceiling in the laundry room. It's a reasonably convenient space for occupants to be able to uh, change the filters. You can see here up on this unit we have uh, incoming and outgoing uh, filter uh, in, in the system to make sure that the uh, air quality is, uh, is optimum. Also inside this unit is the heat exchange core. So we have a constant incoming fresh air stream, a constant outgoing exhaust stream, never mixing, but passing through this high-tech, high-performance heat exchange media. So only about 15% of the thermal energy inside the building is actually uh, lost. This ensures a very high quality uh, level of fresh, highly filtered uh, air uh, for the occupants uh, compared to what the standard American home would be. This is absolutely superb indoor air quality. So beside this central unit I just described to you, um, there's ingoing and outgoing ducts here on the uh, exterior side of the building behind me. And then also we have the distribution uh, system. So there's a series of uh, of manifolds and uh, tubing. In this case, there's a three inch tubing that uh, runs to all of the supply registers and the exhaust registers for the, the distribution and collection of uh, air that's moving through the ventilation system. The final part of the heat recovery ventilation system is, of course, a controller. So here we have a small uh, digital uh, controller mounts on the wall. Very simple for the occupant, uh, not much more to it than selecting a ventilation rate and then uh, pretty much forgetting about it. Um, <clears throat> there are some additional functions that the controller will perform. Uh, for example, actually scheduled to be installed in this project is a CO2 level monitor. 
So in that case, if, for example, there was a party here and 20 people in this big great room, um, then the CO2 levels would likely rise pretty quickly. And a CO2 monitor here would check the level and then boost the ventilation rate accordingly to ensure that the, the house maintained an adequate indoor air quality process. So balanced heat recovery ventilation system, this one again by Zender, a uh, Swiss company, marvelous product, marvelous support as well in this manufacturer. And uh, we basically set it, forget it, and what we gain is basically the best possible indoor air quality and occupant comfort that's possible in uh, today's world.